Let heaven descend, and let the earth arise, when the pre-eternal noose, born of the Holy Spirit and the purest virgin in the cave of my soul, opens his mouth. His words drip unto cemeteries, and ashes turn green and blossom. Those rejected by the world, who have also rejected the world, run to greet him. But those cherished by the world flee from him in terror. I and the Father are one. Before man was, I am. Thus speaks wisdom, born in your virginity, my soul. Listen and understand your eternity, which was lost in the ashes of time. Every soul who does the will of the Heavenly Father can be called a mother of God's wisdom. Thus speaks the wisdom of God, born of the Holy Spirit within you, my soul. I am the life and the resurrection of the dead. Whoever severs his bond with me has severed his bond with life and becomes like a cloud of smoke in which there is neither light nor moisture. You that think that you are alive, but are in fact a dead cloud of smoke blown about by capricious winds, come to me, and I shall fill you with light and water, with true light and living water, and you will be truly alive. You who are voluntarily coming to me and filling yourselves with my life are losing yourselves, such selves as the world made you, and are becoming one with me, just as I am one with the Heavenly Father. Truly, you will no longer fear time, for time is the scourge of the world, and belongs to the world, not to me. Nor will you be confounded by tribulations in time and space. All tribulations are merely the imaginary hissing of time's scourge in a playground, and they belong to the world, not to me. Peace I give you, peace which time cannot consume, peace which space cannot constrict, peace which even all the tribulations of the world cannot confound. Those who are filled with the world are devoid of life and are slaves of the world. Those who are filled with life are devoid of the world and are the sons of life. I am full of life, and there is no death in me, not even so much as the tip of a needle. Therefore the world fails to recognize me, for there is nothing of the world within me. The world knows only its own, just as life knows only its own. And truly, I am the most unknown guest in the world. I have come to offer, not to take. From my own fullness I offer. From nothingness there is nothing to take. My fullness is the fullness of God, who sent me into the world to give myself to the world to bring cemeteries to life, and then to return again to the kingdom of life. I and life are one. Before Adam was, I am. And after Adam was, I am. O oh, my soul, rise from the dead, while the one who can resurrect you is within you, arise. If he ever leaves you, you will not be able to do anything except give birth to the dead and bury the dead. Transform yourselves into listening and obedience, you lifeless offspring of my soul, and arise from the tomb.